Welcome back fellow modelers to yet another Aussie Cylon kit review. Today we're going to check out the Apollo 27 rocket by Pegasus. So as usual let's take a look inside the box and see what we have. We get a large bag containing all the parts which are moulded in white, a small decal sheet or decal sheet and of course the instruction sheet. And that's pretty much it. The main fuselage comes in two pieces which are nicely moulded. There is minimal detail on the surface except for some panel lines, ridges and indentations. The only other details are some rivets around the canopy. There is a small hatch here with some rivet detail. As you can see, all the engines are identical and devoid of any details except for a ridge around the nose. For those of us who love lighting up our kits, there is plenty of room in here for LEDs, wires and circuit boards, etc. Houston, we have a problem. Well, yes we do, and that problem is this. The cockpit is totally devoid of any detail whatsoever. A bit of scratch building will be required here. The seating arrangement is also a little different, being a back-to-back -back arrangement. I think I would prefer a more normal forward-facing arrangement. So once again, a bit of scratch building will be required. Another problem is the astronaut figures themselves. They are soft and detailed and are pretty much just blobs of plastic with arms and legs. These will need to be replaced by better 172nd scale figures. The canopy is nice and clear and large enough to enable a nice view of the cockpit, especially useful if you're going to add lighting. This kit gets a big thumbs up from me as it is a great basis for scratch building and very easily modified. It should look great with better pilot figures, a better cockpit, seats and engine and instrument panel lighting. Yep, I can't wait to build this one. The following photos are of builds from members of StarshipModeler.com. As you can see, this kit is a great basis for scratch building and for modifications. A special thanks to the guys who gave permission to use their photos of their work. So what happens when you combine not one, but two of Pegasus's great kits? Well, this happens. That's great work, fellas. Well, between Jack's back taxes and the Fred Hayes show, I'd say that was a pretty successful broadcast. 